So being back in Berlin is really interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, it's somehow my body is here, but in a way I feel my spirit is still on El Hierro. Uh, but there's lots of stuff to do here. Uh, at the moment I just had to fix a couple of things in here because I hadn't been back in my apartment for four and a half months. And um, some friends um, watered the plants and took care of uh, the mail. But one thing that I couldn't take care of was my kombucha. And it was sitting here for uh, all this time and um, just waiting for me to return. So I just um, made a fresh batch and um, yeah, and um, whatever um, was in there is like uh, turned into vinegar. So it's kind of this funny smell in here, but I'm um, just taking care of that. Um, now get some fresh sugar to feast on and that's what I'm doing right now. And then I have to clean up the apartment because yeah, it's kind of a mess in here. So um, get this all ready and uh, then focus on uh, cutting the vlog because I haven't done much with the vlog in a couple of almost weeks by now. So that's all on the program for today. So I had parked my car on the street and hadn't seen it in four and a half months. You can't see on this video that it was used as target practice for all the birds of Berlin to shut on during that time. Oh, it's so strange to be back, you know, and it's so funny to sit in your own car. You know, I've been sitting in many cars, but it was in my own. Um, so, unfortunately, I have to show you this with the other camera. So if I try to um, to use the key, absolutely nothing happens. So battery dead. Uh, and I hope you know it'll be still okay. Um, I have to call the ADAC, what is like this technical service here in Germany. And uh, and hopefully, you know, they can get it going again and then have to drive around for a bit. And uh, yeah, that's that. So one of the big things about coming back is that I lost all my means of transportation. So car isn't working because battery is empty. And then my scooter, you know, always had this problem with the ignition. Um, I guess water came in there and yeah, so... My bicycle is in really bad shape. So three means of dumb transportation. The only one that's left is like going by foot. <laughs> so um, the plan for today is to fix the scooter. What's well, kind of a big deal, you know, because first of all, there's no uh, instruction to do that because um, well, you don't get any instructions when you buy your scooter in China. And um, yeah, then pff, nobody knows how to take this thing apart, but I'll do my best. I go down now and see if I can do that job. So I am prepared, I bought this part, this ignition, um, a while back in China, and that's the part I have to replace today. So the place is still a mess, but... Uh... How are you doing? Let's roll this. A lot of gear downstairs to fix the scooter. So I mainly said that it would be a big deal because, um, as I mentioned, when you order these things directly in China, you don't get any um, user's manuals with it, no cable plans, nothing. So I knew I would have to take off the casing to get to the point, and actually the entire casing of the entire scooter to get to the ignition. Uh, that's kind of the last thing you can take out. So uh, this is why for months I've been avoiding to do that. But now I was at a point where this thing basically wouldn't start anymore, wouldn't run, and would turn off sometimes when I would hit potholes. And then I had to wiggle the key <laughs> to get it on again. Uh, well, it wasn't that good. So here it is. It's been sitting here for like all this time and 
I knew I had to do it, you know, there was no other way to uh, use the old ignition and cover it, get it ready, get it into position, and then hope that I get, get the casing off. And also, the next trick is to get the casing back on. What, uh, yeah, it can be really tricky as well. And if you can't get it back on, then you have a real problem because there's nobody you can ask. I mean, the Chinese tech support is basically asking for it, never getting an answer. Time to get started.